Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Well, you just saw Stephanie Hansen with former bachelorette Michelle Young and her uh, her new boy, her new friend, boyfriend. That sounds, when you look like that, you're not a boyfriend. Anyway, from today's buds. <laughs> Before she was on reality TV, Michelle was a teacher. And you know we love teachers uh, in the Twin Cities. And now she's using, and we love this too, using her platform for good. Audience, give it up for Michelle Young, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I love this. We, I, I say it a lot, we're a goofy show, but when we can, we use, I think, and I th feel you feel the same way, I don't take this for granted. If you're gonna have a platform like this, occasionally you have to use it for some good, you know? Uh, talk to me about your foundation. Yeah, so I just launched the Michelle Young Foundation. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I didn't realize it was gonna come this soon, so I hit teacher burnout after COVID, um, and it was just, had so many different things going on with after the TV show and was kind of trying to figure out what I could do that I was still passionate about. I'm really passionate about the youth. I didn't want to just let that piece go. And so that's where this came into play. I played college basketball, being able to create an after school program. And that's what really kind of kickstarted this homework and hoops program. So homework and hoops. So talk to me about that. So how how specifically does the foundation help the kids? So it's for underprivileged students and we focus on tutoring for math and literacy since there's a lot of regression, especially after COVID, especially for our underprivileged students. And they also get access to play a fully organized sport. So they go into the classroom, they get learning coaches where we'll work on these different skills and kind of help them catch up. And then they get to go into the gymnasium. They have role models, coaches working with them as well. Because you know this as a teacher, and I, I, I talk about this a lot, people think, not, not everyone, but people think, oh, it's about, nine to two or just the school in the classroom and you know where I'm yeah. going and it's like uh -huh. no 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 I was I was transformed by after school uh, by after school activities I was transformed this is just me I didn't do sports but I did drama club and I wouldn't be where I am without that and 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 it's equally as important as just the basic education. So when you're putting these yep. kids in these programs, it helps, doesn't it? Absolutely, you mean you heard of the achievement gap? We don't call that it anymore. We call it the opportunity gap. After school programs, that time outside of school is where their students are really doing their emotional growth, their learning, their additional growth. And so these experiences are kind of what are really impacting them. Is this filling, is this filling the cup? Because I know, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm gonna say. Yeah. I'm, sure, um, I'm sure this chapter of your life is very exciting, but do you miss teaching and does the foundation fill the cup a little bit, uh, fill, that, fill, fill that gap for you? I miss working with students. I don't miss like not being able to go to the bathroom when you want <laughs> and, and other things. Like there's a lot of things I you have to do too, with, right? Yeah, yeah. It's nice having a lunch if break. If I need to go right now, you're hosting this show. Oh, so I got yeah, it. I'll, yeah, hold, yeah. I'll hold it down, I'll hold it down, <laughs> yes. But really. But it does, it, it is very fulfilling because my whole thing is that I'm passionate about students, I'm passionate about making a positive impact and I'm doing that here, so yeah. And you can, and, and it's using, because the, you, ha you know, the, the 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 pop culture and the the bachelor it's goofy it, it's we you know what i mean it's like it's a goofy thing so to use that for good has to feel good it has to be a, a way to use something silly uh, to do a greater good yeah and i mean i i'm late to the social uh, media game i only logged on like three years ago really and so yeah you know there's a lot of anxiety that comes with it and so i kind of watched all my friends go through it i tried to avoid it i caught up now with that anxiety that you get from social media yeah but you know being able to have something that's fulfilling it gives me a purpose to be online to share my story what i'm going through the impact that i'm making and so that's kind of what why I can get behind it. And you're doing, and if you're watching us uh, from the Twin Cities, probably one of the biggest social events of the year is uh, something called Wine Fest. I love it. You're gonna, are yes. you hosting it this year? I am gonna be hosting the dinner. Look so, at you! Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it's a great event ever. It's fantastic. Yes, yeah, I'm I'm incredibly excited. Uh, Jack will be there with me. Um, we're gonna go to the, some of the other events oh, as Jack well. Oh, Jack will be there. Okay, Jack will then be let there. me tell you, everyone in this audience will be buying tickets. I'm just telling you, yeah, yeah. We gotta talk. Love that, yeah. love that. Uh, did you, so you eventually, I got to ask, we're, we'll talk about more after the break, but touching on where we started with Stephanie Hansen, you eventually did cook with Stephanie. Did she scare you? 
No. no. I mean, she was in like... You can be honest. Don't worry about it. It's just me and you. you she's, she, she can be a little... She's a little extra sometimes. She, she's, she's super... I, I was a fifth grade teacher, okay? Not much can scare me these days, I feel like. <laughs> but but she, she's... No, she's wonderful. She's so her. high energy. And, you know, it's... She was cooking in, like, my family's house, so... Yeah. Are mm -hmm. you a good cook? Y yeah. You are? I don't know. You, have, you might have to ask Jack, but I, I say that I am. Jack? I think I am. Good cook? Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. What, what, <laughs> what is... I know we got to wrap, but, like, what is your specialty? Like, if I was to come over, what are you... What, what do you cook really well? Ooh, cheesy potatoes. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Coming over. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I make really good biscuits. I'll come over. I'll bring biscuits, and I'll, we'll have... We'll have cheesy potatoes and biscuits. We'll Hot do love. that. Yep. More of Michelle when we come back. Back in a moment, everyone. Oh, that's great. What grade did you teach? Welcome back. More with good human. Just a good human. Former bachelorette Michelle Young. Let me ask you, we've had, um, let me start with this. Speaking of The Bachelorette, because I know people watching are like, when are you going to ask about The Bachelorette? I'm getting to that. Uh, <laughs> why do you think, there was actually an article written, I, I, I would love to give credit, I think maybe bringmethenews.com, talked about the fact that there are so many Minnesotans that are very successful mm. on this franchise. Do you have a theory why? Honestly, mm, I think it might have to come back to, I feel like a lot of people from Minnesota are family oriented. Yeah. And you know, when you go on The Bachelor, Bachelorette, you're kind of there to find your person to start a family or to have a family. But that, and we're really con like good at overcoming adversity because like our winter. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, we're really good at like locking down yeah. and getting through things. So like we're, we can get through tough times. Yes, so we can. Go, you know? Don't mess with us, Absolutely seriously. No. What, what was the thing? Cause you know, we see the edited 42 minutes without commercials. We see it all pretty and bowed up. Yeah. When you, uh, going back to either just the bachelor, the bachelorette, what is the part of the process that you had the toughest time trying to wrap your brain around? Because you're an educator. You're not, you don't do TV. What right. was the weirdest part for you? Uh, probably just well, not being able to speak to my family was really difficult for me because they take away your phones. I will say there are definitely ways that I figured out how to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> I have nobody knows about that really, but that and just as a teacher, you kind of have in the back of your mind at all times my students might be watching this, like the family, my dad. Yeah. So you're just, you know, I didn't even about think about things. that. Yeah, when you're taping this. And is it yeah. hard because you know, I, I always tell people when interns come in here, they, they want advice on how to do well in TV. It's it's the cliche advice of go on the air and be yourself and you gotta forget about the cameras yeah. and the audience and it's hard to do. Is it hosting a show is one thing, but trying to get a relationship going when cameras are literally in your face, was that harder than you thought it would be to be natural? No, actually, surprisingly, really? no. I, I don't know. If maybe it's because growing up playing basketball in college, like there were always eyes on me. I was just used to it. It's not something that I always say is that it wasn't fulfilling, but I was able to handle it. And so kind of with this whole process, I did get used to it. And But it is a really weird if you think it's, about it. It's really weird. Yeah. I mean, you, when you go on a date in normal life, right. ABC isn't with you. You right. know what I mean? Right? No. I mean, you're not. Yeah. And, and the, I'll say the interruptions are really hard to deal with. Just, I mean, we were at the golden wedding and it's weird because there's like a cut, like right before they say their vows and you're like, wait, time out. And so there's those types of things that you don't think about and it comes together nicely for the viewers. I'm happy because then you guys get a good show, but it is weird for us because it'll be in the middle of a conversation and then like a producer will walk in and ask a question and there's times where you're just tired you're like just let me ask my question <laughs> dude oh, <laughs> or you know when yeah. i was the lead out give me a fragrant moment pretend they're not there yeah you know just yeah because you want it to feel natural and if they're ruining a moment if you're having a, like a genuine moment and then skippy comes in with a clipboard and a camera yeah, yeah. you know and if they don't definitely one of the other contestants would <laughs> yeah because you because you're around kids and you're an mm -hmm. educator and you you can read fifth graders um and i think people really never change did you <laughs> or were you really good at scoping out your cast members of who was who like okay i i, I know your number i know your number i know i see you yeah did, were you pretty good at reading I, people oh 
I, I would say that yes, normally, but in this situation, they're really only in front of you for like 10 minutes at a time and you're very much excluded. So you're not allowed to like sit and talk and have separate conversations and things like that. So you are always like focused on the conversation and everything that's happening back with, you know, the other contestants, you're not like weary of that. So you really do have to re rely on other people to be your eyes. So Got it. That's what's tricky. Um, I want to take a shot at Jack. We've been having fun with Jack and showing. <laughs> I want to end on a sweet note. What's your favorite thing about that guy right there? Aww. What's your favorite? <laughs> what's your What's your absolute favorite thing about that guy right there? He's just such a genuine, like, good human. Honestly, the best person, hands down, that I've ever met. He always has pure intentions. He goes out of his way, not just for me, but. Anybody around him will reach out and extending branch to anybody. So he's he's phenomenal in that way. Oh, I love it. Well, I gotta say, we've had a lot. We've had a lot of bachelor bachelor. You're just delightful, and I wish you, you nothing but luck. Thank you for being here, I appreciate Michelle it. Young. You. Everybody, thank you, sweetie. We'll be right thank back. Back in a moment. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. What, are you a hugger? Yes. Oh. Yes. Do you mind?